what's up everybody welcome back to the channel uh it's monday morning and uh as you can see in in the title you can see sebring totally destroyed the gt350r and what i mean by that is it's insanely insanely dirty there's track rubber everywhere we went after all the race cars went so there was track rubber Hoosier rubber, it doesn't matter what was on there, but when we went out there, we flung it everywhere and some cars that I was running with had a bunch of uh, uh, race tires on, so I had rubber hitting the car like you wouldn't believe. I mean, the marks are everywhere. So I don't know if you saw back there, uh, I've got Sean at Monarch Auto Detailing um, here. He is going to make this car look new again um, and he's the pro and that's what I went to it. So I'll show you what I'm talking about with the car. All right, Sean, this is Sean over at Monarch Auto Detailing. I'll put his information down below, but what are we gonna do to the car today to uh, get it back looking new again? All right, well, got my work cut out for me today. Uh, gonna do a rubber removal and get all the rubber clack off the car, uh, chemical paint decontamination, any uh, rust or iron deposits that are on it, we're gonna get off and then we're gonna uh, put a paint sealant on it, G-Technic uh, Liquid Crystal C2V3 to uh, keep it shiny. All right, perfect. Well, I'll let him get uh, get going on it. Wait till you see this thing when he's done, but we'll show you uh, whew, what happened. There's rubber everywhere. On the hood, I mean, you can see it is everywhere. Even on the windshield, right here. I mean, the car got just rushed but it was worth it there's a lot of iron on it in there. so what is this stuff Sean it's just an iron removal spray okay usually gets like you know you're on track or you're on the highway and um, you know you just get iron deposits on the paint uh, it's totally common um, on the track. You get the the rotors are iron, so you get like a lot of uh, you know dusting, and it, you know it's hot, so it sticks to the paint. And um, there's ways to remove it. You can chemically remove it, which is what we're doing right now, or you can try to clay it off. But sometimes clay mars the paint up. Okay. And since we're not doing any corrective work today, I'm gonna try to make it as easy as possible on me and the car. Perfect. You know, that's how I do it. Yes, I'm on. Sean always goes the extra mile. So as we were trying to decontaminate the car and he was doing a great job spraying everything, unfortunately it was way too windy, way too cold, um, and the wind was blowing like 25, 30 miles per hour. So everything that he was spraying as far as the iron decontaminator to try and clean up the car a little bit better and get everything, it was drying immediately, wasn't doing its job. So him as the professional, he said, you know what, let me come back because I want this car to be perfect and uh, the chemicals are not working properly because of how windy it was and the wind just kept picking up, picking up as we were doing it. So he's gonna come back Friday, um, but what you guys didn't see, and uh, you saw in the clip just now, um, he does the extra mile, we took off the wheels and scrubbed the inside to make sure everything was clean and spotless. But what we didn't see um, was the two to three layers of track rubber, rubber that actually went um, on the back end of the caliper because the rubber would actually get stuck between the wheel, hit the caliper, and it was just boom, boom, boom. So the back of the calipers, all four had rubber caked on them. I was crazy. Just kind of like, you know, track rubber, right? You know, so um, Sean washed the car real quick. We took the wheels off together um, because wanted to make sure those were going to get clean. Just, um, 
um, get the rubber off the wheels, get the wheels clean. So we did clean the wheels. They look fantastic. Got the rubber off all the brake calipers. So they look like crazy new. Uh, it looks awesome. Looks awesome. So he's gonna come back on Friday and uh, we're gonna do the, uh, we're gonna get all the track rubber off the car. We're gonna, he's gonna clean it one more time, decontaminate it and uh, seal it, ceramic coat it for me. Um, so I can't wait to see what it looks like. It's gonna look brand new when he's done with it. Sean is uh, a magic when it, a magician when it comes to this stuff. So um, we should, uh, I'll, I'll start filming again on Friday when he comes back and um, we'll see, uh, we'll see the finished product and go over a little bit more what he's gonna do to the car. So that's kind of the update of what happened and why the car's back in the garage. So you can see the wheels are super clean. The calipers are looking shiny. But yeah, right back here, the rubber, you can see the clearance is just so tight. So any rubber that gets in there just crams on in between those. And uh, that's kind of what we had to deal with. But you can see the wheels are very, very clean now. Um, right back from the track, they look brand new. And uh, I don't know if you can see in there, you can see, you know, Sean did a great job. The, it's all white again and clean and I uh, uh, can't wait for him to come back and uh, detail these uh, rubber marks out and put that coating on it. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome back again to day two. Sean is on his way uh, to uh, finish detailing the car. I know, and it's crazy. I do have hair. Uh, it's not a hat. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so Sean is on the way now to finish detailing. He's going to pull it out of the garage. Uh, decontaminate it um, and then uh, wash the car get the rubber marks off and um, he is going to uh, put a ceramic coat on there I think he's using the GTEC like he said at the beginning of the video so he's gonna get working on that car um, I unfortunately I gotta I gotta leave I trust Sean wholeheartedly uh, great friend of mine awesome detailer um, he's gonna pull the car out get it done and uh, pull it back in for me so uh, I can't say enough about Sean and the quality work he does. So when I get back, the car's gonna be done. We'll pull out of the garage and we'll just see how this thing is back to new. I was here, it was really rainy and uh, windy outside and I couldn't get the, uh, the Iron X to really do its job because the wind was just uh, blowing it dry pretty much before I could remove all the iron. So you can kind of see the iron deposits on here. It's turning purple a little bit. So it's moving all that grime and stuff from the track. Just it on the doors still. And what this does is it just safely removes all the contaminants from the paint without requiring any sort of clay treatment, which sometimes mars the paint. So you can see how it's just kind of eating it off right there, which is cool. So we'll just let this set up here for a bit and then uh, wipe it down, set it up for a wash, get this rubber off, and on to the next step. ready for uh, a show this weekend. What's up everybody? Uh, it's the next day. We've had a little bit of rain, but uh, I wanted to show you how the car turned out because I think it turned out phenomenal. Sean did an amazing job. The car looks better than it did when it was new and got all the track marks off of it. So I am super grateful for him. He did an awesome job. If you're in the Tampa, Florida area, everything, and you need a detail, whether it's paint correction, um, you know, a polish, uh, ceramic coating, uh, detail, boat, car, plane, truck, van, bus, he does it all, and he does a great, great job. 
Sean is an awesome guy, awesome detail, great friend, and he does does a phenomenal job. So give him a call if you need some detailing, um, and he'll be happy to, to come over and make your car look good as new as well. So uh, here she is. Let's uh, let's take a look. I mean, he did a phenomenal job in that coating. Holy moly. Look how clean it is. It looks so good. I mean, remember the rubber and everything that was on there? Look at the wheels, They're shiny. And this is the part that gets me. You guys saw how destroyed the front end is, was. Look at that. I mean, it is white, ready to go. I mean, you can see the reflection in that paint. I mean, he just did such a phenomenal job. I'm glad the rain and everything has finally stopped. Obviously, go Bucks. Let's go, Tampa Bay. But wow, what a just great job on this. So there you have it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you liked seeing the car go come back to new because I know I'm excited. I just want to get out and drive the car. I haven't driven it since the uh, the track event. So now that she's uh, clean and detailed, um, can't wait to take her out. It's supposed to be beautiful today. So I think I'm going to take her for a cruise. So uh, thanks again. Thanks for, for watching. Um, hit the subscribe button, like, comment below. Um, I'm going to put Sean's details uh, down below so you can contact him to uh, get your car looking new again. Uh, ask him any questions that you might have. Um, but, uh, thanks again. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. I got some cool, exciting stuff coming for us. So hit that subscribe button, join the team, and I'll see you on the next one. Brock, go fast.